Oh, comp whiz, that's crazy, dude. Yeah, that's that's the way it is now, man. Yeah, I feel like I I don't know. Checkered, it's it's hard to sell yourself when you don't want to sell yourself. Does that make sense? Like, I'm not here to squeeze blood out of a turnip. I don't want to sit here and drain you guys out of every penny that you've got. But, I do have ways that you guys can support the stream. I just don't talk about them all the time. Because I feel like it's excessive. Is that bad? Like, I don't want people to think that's all I'm about. Because that's not what I'm here for. I'm not, I'm not here to like take you for your sub and take you for your money. I'm here to stream and play games and have a community. But <laughs> if, you, if you wanted, you could do all this other stuff too. Like I've got a Patreon for people that don't want to immediately subscribe to my Twitch if they don't want to give Amazon money. I get like 94% of all the money on Patreon. Um, if you're going to buy a game at full price, or if you want to buy the Humble Bundle, exclamation point Humble, that's my Humble Partner link. It supports me and a charity. And, um, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I, I used to be an Epic creator, but they, they really screwed me, and I'm never going to give them any of my attention ever again. And, you know, I've got, I've got things, I just don't push them. I don't, I don't want to be overbearing. I'm trying to find that, I'm trying to find that middle ground where I can do it, but not be like overly about it. Well, comp whiz, I, I, I tried to sign up with an Epic partner through them. That way I can have like the content creator code that you put in at checkout or whatever. And when I changed my username, they permanently removed me from the program forever. No questions asked. And when I emailed support about them and asked them why, they told me because I changed my name and there was no, there was no, nothing I could do about it. It was indefinite. And I was like, oh, okay. So screw you guys. <laughs> Sorry for changing my username. No warning? No, no, no they, they sent me an email told, telling me after the fact. They were like, oh, hey, by the way, your, your account's been indefinitely, indefinitely suspended, and you will no longer be able to apply to be um, support or create or whatever through Epic. And I emailed support, and I was like, is this like, is this like forever? And they're like, yeah, there, there's zero recourse. I was like, oh, okay, bye. <clears throat> so yeah, that was pretty shitty. Okay, sarah, sarah. Yeah, comp whiz. I see your follow up there. I don't know. It just kind of felt all samey to me all the time. But I, I totally get what you're saying now. Maybe, maybe that's the beginning of the end. Who knows? Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, hold on, hold on. <laughs> there you go. What games did you play through Epic? I can't imagine you cranky 90s in Fortnite. I was playing, um, I played SnowRunner when it first came out, when it was Epic exclusive. And I played, what else was it that I played uh, that was Epic exclusive? I can pull up the launcher and see, but there was, there was another game I played that was Epic exclusive for a little bit.
But it was only it was only SnowRunner and something else. And then when SnowRunner came out on Steam, I actually bought it on Steam so I wouldn't have to play it on Epic. <laughs> I, I bought it again on Steam and started completely over again. Gonna build a diamond beacon yet? No, not for a while. Well, you say that, Dope Nose, but they also... I mean, Epic has always been a company for a long time. They didn't really get into the forefront until Fortnite, but they've owned the rights to the Unreal Engine forever. So, I mean, they've always been in games. They just haven't been as prominent as they are now. SnowRunner is a Snow SnowRunner is like the ultimate chill driving game. You can sit back and have a controller and just chill out and drive for hours. And the the scenery is beautiful, the gameplay is is smooth. I mean, it's a great game. I have I have hundreds of hours in it. Oh, well, yeah, don't know. I don't have a horse in that race. So probably. <laughs> I can't I can't say yay or nay when it comes to that. Comp whiz, it's only the case because there's no actual good competition out there. It's kind of like it's kind of like the whole SpaceX argument, you know? SpaceX is better than all the other space agencies out there because not nobody's actually any competition yet. And too many people are trying to reinvent the wheel when all they got to do is just kind of follow the same suit and just kind of, you know, be a little more competitive about it. Like there's a lot of people chomping at the bit ready to give Elon every single dime that they have for anything that Elon makes. It's almost like the new Apple. He's almost like Steve Jobs at this point. Anything he says, people just eat out of the palm of his hand and they'll buy anything that he makes. flashbacks well yeah no comp with that's why I'm saying a lot of people are trying different they're trying too hard to not be those companies you you, you just said what I just said they're trying too hard to not be them to the point where they're not getting anything done. what they're trying to not be is what people like about them are you talking about no I'm talking about I'm not talking about steam and 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 steam versus uh like yeah I'm not talking about that But I mean, I, I don't think there's people that like Epic Comp Wiz. There's not people that like Epic because they're not Steam. I've never heard anybody say, I love Epic Game Store. Ever. Unless they're being paid by Epic Game Store to say it. <laughs> so I don't think it is working. I think the only people saying that are like the indie devs. 
that get that get 100% of their profit from their game that's going to be marketed to a 10% audience versus a 100% audience. Well, yeah, comp wiz, of course. And yeah, bro, man, a lot of people are saying that Epic Game Store is going through the same issues that, that Steam had in the very beginning. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. If... So, the first person who built... The, the first person who built a building that used iron to build a building. All of that R&D and all of that studying and all of that initial crafting and all of those mistakes weren't repeated when the second building was made. The second building was made because they already learned from all of that. They already knew all the information and it was easy to do. So if you're making a new game launcher, you shouldn't have to reinvent everything. This is what I'm saying. They shouldn't have to go through what Steam did in the beginning. It shouldn't have to happen. Steam's been around for years. There's case studies on it. All the information is publicly accessible. Learn from it before you open up a game storefront like that. The fact that they didn't just shows that they're just careless about it. And that's what breeds errors. People's information being stolen. Hacking is carelessness. And that's why I don't have a lot of respect for them. And, and that's the, I, I think you came in at the tail end of a conversation, but that's not what we're that's not what I was trying to say. It's just, it's just, I don't, I don't know. I feel like a company shouldn't have to go through all that in the beginning. Bye, Super Cat. Have a good night. To, you know, to, to, to justify everything. Yeah, comp whiz. I, I get that. It's just, it's just weird to me. And, and comp whiz, about the last thing you said there, the fact that that person has that much to just dump on an almost daily or weekly basis, it's frightening, isn't it? It's just crazy to think how... It's crazy to... Chat, it's crazy to think how much disposable income some people have. When you when you see it being on display in other areas, and you're just like, wow. The fact that they can just do that. Well, I think I think his name implies what he does. I think he owns his own thing. Yeah, Anth, so what I was saying before you jumped in here was um, Epic Game Store versus Steam. And I cited that a lot of people are saying that Epic Game Store is going through the same kind of rough start that Steam did back when it came out. And my argument is, is that shouldn't happen because Steam should have been, Steam should have been the older sibling that had to go through all the original stuff to break through all those walls. And then you as the younger sibling should learn from all that and never have to go through all that crap to begin with. Your wheels should be a little more loose. Your, your, your body should be a little more polished. It should be a little more functioning. And it should do something different in order to be competitive. Seagull flies, it's, it's, it's maddening. 
we're we're talking about somebody in in a in another world far far away that like on a daily basis dumps like 500 subs almost and it's just like crazy what does epic do wrong i mean epic i, I used the term earlier i'll use it again epic's been very cr careless bright been very careless and there's been a lot of um i can't think of the right word but there's been a lot of like breaches and loss of of content and identity theft and there's a lot of things that go wrong with it on a consistent basis that shouldn't happen that's documented and has been brought up a lot and my whole argument is people say that oh well steam did the same thing when it first came out but my whole argument is just because steam had it happen to them should mean that you should learn from that if you're going to open up your own storefront you shouldn't have that happen to you as well If, if, your, if your father drove to work every day on a road that was covered in potholes and it was your turn to drive and he had to buy a new car every year because of it, you're going to fill those potholes in. You're not going to also drive on the same potholes and have to replace your car every year. You're going to say, hey, that was stupid. Maybe we should do that and, you know, keep our car for longer than a year. Right? But to drive over and replace your car and say, well, my dad did it, so that means I have to also, is stupid. That's a, that's a backwards way of thinking. Right, but that's not an excuse. That's not an excuse. You should, for someone, for a company with as much money as they have to build something like that, that should not be the glaring problem. They shouldn't just go, oh, well, you know, this piece of software that works great now had the same issues 10 years ago. That means we do too. I don't, I don't, that's not a good excuse. Legacy, but that's just it. The problems that they are having are really, really bad. Legacy. There are people that have lost their entire Epic Game Store library that can't get support to refi reply to them. There are people that have had their credit card information stolen and spammed across the internet because of Epic Game Store's holes. Right, I, I'm aware, but they also, it's not at the rate that Epic has recently. If you look over the past two years, there has been more breaches and, and hacks and everything with Epic than there has been with Steam. Legacy that could be just as easy as someone clicking a link that has nothing to do with someone brute forcing their way into valve That's a completely different story legacy Any stupid kid can click a link in chat and have their steam account instantly taken from them. That's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about security breaches Anth, I know and that's but, but here's, I, what I'm saying is you shouldn't use it as an excuse. Just because you didn't learn from it and you're still messing up, that's not an excuse. If I, if I have my front door kicked in every single day and someone's breaking into my house and stealing all my stuff every day, and you have the same door I do, are you just gonna go, 
I guess my stuff's getting taken too, because it's the same door. Or are you going to take steps to protect yourself? You just don't go, well, his door is the same as mine, so, you know, I'm just going to let it happen. No, because that's not an excuse. You either put a bar behind that door or you get a better door and you learn from the other person's mistake. You just don't go, oh, I mean, the door is the same, so it's whatever. Hi, Element. How are you, bud? That's what I'm saying. If Steam's already been through all that and they learned from it, why didn't you learn from it? Stop using it as an excuse. Well, Steam had it hard in the beginning, too. Steam didn't open up two years ago. <laughs> That's all. I... I've already repeated the same thing four times. I'm going to end it at that. But, I mean, see, it seems like some of you... Bright, you can look up every single bit of information on that kind of stuff, though. There's case studies on it. You can look it up right now. No, you cannot. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Intel ain't going to tell AMD what went wrong. Same for Steam and Epic. You can look up how Steam system is built. No, that's not what I said. It's not what I said, Brank. No, I said what happened to them can be looked up and studied. The problems that they had can be looked up and studied. And then you learn from that. And what CompWiz just said right there. It's all available to read when you look that up. And then you learn from that. Bright. Listen to what I just said and read what CompWiz just said. Do I have to explain my... Am I not making any sense? You know football players used to play football with leather helmets. They don't play with leather helmets anymore. Do you know why? Because they learn from their mistake. You don't just go out there with a leather helmet and go, well, the guy 100 years ago did it, so I'm going to do it too, and get your head cracked open and use that as an excuse. You don't say, man, my head's cracked open and I'm dying because I used a leather helmet because they did a hundred years ago. No, you see them using a plastic reinforced helmet and you're like, oh, maybe I should do that too. How you doing, Ligdoba? Welcome in. No, Bright, I'm just saying that if something happens, there's documentation of it. Two people build a 10-story building. They see the building, but they don't know how it works under the walls. Okay? I build my 10-story building 10 years, after, 10 years after you build yours. Okay? Your 10-story building had a major water leak. It had a floor collapse. And it had people break in and murder four people. You don't think I can look all three of those things up and find out what caused that to happen? So that I can prevent it in my building too? You don't think I can do that? If you built a building 10 years ago and it collapsed, I can't look up what caused that? You're telling me that's a secret? So if my building collapses, I just go, oh, well, the one 10 years ago did too. That means, you know, it's my excuse. You can't use that as an excuse. That's what I'm saying. You learn from what happened to that building and you make it better. But Bray Shiny, but you don't start building until you do that research. If you're building it years later, you're not just going to build it without looking up that stuff first if you're trying to compete with that building. 
That's like saying all apartment complexes in the US are exactly the same. They're not. If you build them brand new, they're more efficient. They got better drywall. They got better lighting because they learned. You're not learning what it was made out of. You're learning why it messed up. Hi, Kyle. Welcome in, buddy. If I if I have a friend who streams and he called everybody blah, 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 and got banned, do you think I'm going to do it tomorrow and be like, oh, I didn't know I was going to get banned. I just thought I could say the word. No, you learn from that and you don't do it. It's not something secret. Jack, we're, we're, we're talking about the original discussion was Epic Game Store versus Steam and how Epic Game Store has a lot of issues and how a lot of people say that the, the, the excuse they use for Epic's issues are, well, Steam had those same issues in the beginning too, so it's okay. But what I'm trying to say is it's not okay because you should learn from that before you open your own storefront. Because the things that happen to Steam are documented and you can look it up and see how it happened and go, oh, well, I'm not going to do that when I open up mine. And then you don't have that mistake. And then you can't use that as an excuse. Bright shiny. Yeah, they should have. They should have learned from other websites, of course. 100%. But if you go to my domain, it doesn't have the same protection as another domain. Because I don't have the money to do that. But if I was a rich person, like Epic is a very wealthy company, and I wanted to compete with another person with equal or more wealth, I would put in the time to make my site just as good as theirs. What I'm saying is that they're being careless and they don't care, which is why everybody's information just gets passed around like it's a piece of shit. My whole thing is that Epic is careless because they wouldn't have had that stuff happen to begin with. But to use it as an excuse that Steam had it happen in the beginning too, that's a poor excuse. That's not a, that's not an that's not that's not feasible in my opinion. And, and I'll say it because it's on the, the tip of my tongue. The people who build a house in Tornado Alley after their house gets wiped out by a tornado. Did they learn their lesson? No, because they're still putting their house in the same spot. Is it going to get destroyed again? Probably. And what are they going to do? They're going to go, oh, my house got destroyed again. I put it in the same spot as the last time. I thought a tornado wasn't going to hit it. You got to learn from your mistakes. What's up, Jack? What do you use to charge up your pickaxe? I'm too familiar with your world. What do I use to charge my pickaxe? You mean to repair it? Um, I use an XP farm, either Enderman or right now we're using gold. Because the gold voice is, is, the gold farm is much better. So I have, I have mending on my tools. And mending, when you gain XP, it, it heals it. So we go kill a bunch of stuff, get a bunch of um, XP, and then we go from there. No, 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 no. 